I'm going to sing two songs from an abandoned musical called Oscar Was Wild. The first ought to be sung by a beautiful turn of the century hustler. In this song, he is turning Oscar Wilde down for more profitable persons. Mm -hmm. As I told Mr. Oscar Wilde, causing him to make a sour vinaigrette face, I put away the things of a child. Take back your tacky silver cigarette case. <laughs> Mr. Beardsley and Mr. Whistler give gifts by which a lad can live. Past the turn of the century. Oh, willows both windswept and placid, peacocks both full band and placid, magnolia mandalas in fashion, impalas all show its art nouveau. <laughs> Muses entwined in an orchard, woodwork transcendently tortured, tarantula tresses, cubistic caresses all show its art nouveau. Hyacinths of amethyst are set into a spread of opalescent dragonflies some drug addict has read of. Then stamped into a lampshade and clapped upon the head of a sniggering, figuring, triggering juices to flow like Quantro. Oh, croci convolving in crystals, peonies plaiting their pistols, a lily epiphany, Louis Comfort Tiffany. My, how your garden does grow, and its price will improve. So I'll brew for a true of art nouveau. A mystical mastic aurora, combining both fauna and flora. A nacreous nymph done in lilac and limp, so you know she's art. Nouveau. Salome has often been skinnier, but never quite so rectilinear. A gelatin of more and her skeletal pursuer that must have been Gustav Monroe. Semi-literate minglings of harlequins and pyros, semi-solid heroines and silhouetted heroes, Avalar hugs Eloise, and Eros chases Nero's in a towering, showering, flowering tribute to Cole or Rambo. Oh, <coughs> a poet disposes as Circe, a lad as La Belle Dansons Mercy. Angels in pearly cues set up in curly cues. Perilously in apropos. Processions of seraphim set out. Pre Raphaelites all get out. Delcrescent swans cast in iridescent bronze cast a cortical, vortical glow. And a moon maiden moans in monotony among blossoms unknown to botany. On a poster so smart, it advances the art while it plucks Sarah Bernhardt's new show. And I'm smart, so I'll part with my heart for a card full of art new bowls.
somewhat more serious. It is a song which Oscar would sing twice during the course of the play. It explains his philosophy of life, which led to his renown, and then, as you all know, to his ruin. I'm going to sing it as he sings it the first time, when he gives a lecture at Eton and meets the love of his life. This is sung by Oscar at the peak of his fame to Lord Alfred Douglas at the peak of his beauty. Narcissus gazed in a pool at his beauty. He was the loveliest of magic youths. He cried, I adore it. But when he reached for it, the surface where heavenly bliss appeared, quite suddenly shivered and disappeared. Narcissus, amazed in a pool by his beauty, saw at last how human perfection soothes. His suitors all clamored, but he was enamored. He cried, all of you who pursue a key in me, quite suddenly I see what you see in me. Some poet said he lamely laid there night and day for love and turned into the most fantastic flower. But poets have no wit. He gamely stayed there night and day for love, developing the most fantastic power. Narcissus, dazed in that pool by his beauty, came to comprehend the profoundest truths of interaction, reflection, refraction. He cried, all of you, leave books upon your shelves. Quite suddenly, you'll know everything once you have known yourselves. I want to thank the Heiser, the One Institute, for making all of this happen. Rick Castro. Begin productions who bullied me into the elaborate production. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.